ladies and gentlemen, this is Josh Carton with Curian here to talk to you guys today about parasitic draw testing. We are going to be using our N2 and our N2 app or the Curian Hub app to access parasitic draw testing. And before I jump into it, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about why and what you would use this testing for. So parasitic draw testing is used for determining where and what is drawing on your vehicle's battery and that may cause the battery to create a no start situation in the morning or go dead or flat overnight. And so sometimes you're unable to do this because it's not something as obvious as a headlamp staying on or some fan staying on. It would be through a relay or some other situation where it's stuck open or there's high corrosion that's, you know, gapped something open and or caused it to short in some way. And so you would utilize this to determine where the power is coming from and how much power is drawing. And in general, you wouldn't see more than 100 to 200 milliamp draw on a vehicle's battery over time. And that's determining, determined on whether or not you have uh, computers turning on and off, EVAP systems coming on and off to check on the vehicle. So as we go into this testing, we are going to be doing it through the fuses. So this is fuse testing for parasitic draw. And before we show some other applications, I want to show here, we're going to be doing our first test on a light bulb, a rear hatch light or a courtesy cargo light for a O3 Sequoia I'm going through a 5 amp fuse here. And so since it is a standard 5 amp fuse, we will go ahead and click on that. But I'll bring this up into the screen to show you, you can actually do this testing for over mini fuses, maxi fuses, standard as we've mentioned, or ATO, and cartridge fuses. And you would just select the fuse type and the amperage rating for that fuse, and the N2 does all the heavy lifting for you. So back at it again, we've got our standard five amp fuse that we're gonna go across. I've got my meter leads. I'm gonna be connecting to common, and I will connect to volts. Here I need to have volts DC or auxiliary volts DC. If we're going to do that, you would put your other uh, lead there. But we will go ahead and go across this fuse and go power to the closest power side, common on the other side of that. And as you can see, we are watching the draw of this bulb through the N2. And that is a three quarters amp draw. That is accurate. That is correct. Now going to a situation where we would have had parasitic draw that wasn't necessarily seen uh, in the vehicle or something that we were noticing if we we're just going through our fuse checking. Uh, I want to show you this. The bulb is off, or at least it appears to be off. But let's take a look at this circuit one more time. And as we connect there and I stop moving, there is almost 300 milliamps or that would be you know 0.3 amps flowing through that circuit and what's happened is we've got a corroded uh corroded open ground point on the circuit back here and you would normally see that uh because of where this thing lives it's by the weather seal that normally breaks on these older sequoias and it's the hatch the vibration you know everything all together creates that perfect storm of well as you guys know crap <laughs> that will cause these types of issues I just want to show you across a few other fuses. We're going to go ahead and shut that off. But across a few other fuses, I've got uh, this H4 bulb. If we were to hit the standard fuse and then, oops, that is not a 20 amp. That is on a 10 amp fuse. So standard, 10 amp, same situation, voltage come across, positive to the most positive, negative closest to the negative. And look at that. We have a four and a half amp draw, and that's accurate for that. Now we're going to go to a 20 amp fuse. So you would hit here to your calculation, your interpretations. It's standard 20 amps. Go ahead and we'll go ahead and turn on this fan and go across the fuse. Don't get caught in the fan. That won't be fun. But as I am holding that there, take a look. We've got our 12 amp draw through the circuit powering this fan. And that is accurate. I'm going to go ahead and shut that down. And there we go. So that is it in a nutshell, folks. This is parasitic draw testing for your N2. Feel free to call or email us anytime. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.